everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is another Foundation Friday. Yes, I review foundations on Fridays. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more. But today I will be reviewing the Rimmel London Stay Matte Foundation. Now, I have had many requests to do this foundation, but I kind of had like some beef, like, you know, we were kind of beefing because we couldn't find each other. No matter where I went, I only saw like five colors in their shade range. And I just assumed that they only made five shades of beige and that was pretty much it. But it wasn't until one of you wrote me and told me that there are more colors, you just gotta find them. So I learned that the Rimmel London Stay Matte Foundation has a total of 16 different colors. But they literally only have one shade of brown and the only one above this is like a deep mocha, which is kind of just about two shades, maybe three darker than my skin tone. So I was about to give up on this foundation, but I finally found it at Ulta. Ulta had the full range. Supposedly Walmart does too. I've never seen it at CVS or Walgreens, like the deeper shades, but if you're lighter, they might be there. This comes in a one fluid ounce squeeze tube, which I do like. This is a drugstore foundation. It's only $5. Definitely very affordable, so I really hope that it works so we have an affordable option for oily skin. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this foundation. Starting off, my face is already moisturized, and now I'm going to grab the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This is a primer I've used in majority of my Foundation Fridays, but for the first time, it's actually matching with its counterpart, the foundation. So let me go ahead and put a little bit of this. This is the Mattifying Stay Matte Rimmel primer and I'm literally running out from all the foundation Fridays. Come on. Come on, Betsy. Now this primer is a really thick white cream and it does a pretty good job for a drugstore primer. Now what made me nervous about the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation is because this is the color Warm Caramel and there's only one darker shade above this and the shade below this is too light. So literally if this does not work, I've got nothing. So I am using a damp beauty blender. I'm going to apply some right on there. Hmm, it's a very moussey texture. So well, that's kind of cool. Here we go. Phew! Surprisingly, this is a perfect color match for me. Wow, okay. So I must say I'm getting some really good coverage as you can see. That's actually really nice. And it is going on really matte. Ooh, I was skeptical. Okay, look, look at all the scars, all the blemishes. Goodbye. Okay, I kind of love this. This is going on really nicely. I really like this moussey texture. It's really creamy, but not like thick cakey creamy but because it's more of a mousse, it's blending out really nicely. It's getting really good coverage and it is going on matte. Okay, so there is my full coverage of the foundation all on its own before I set it or do anything else to it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. And we're back. Now this foundation did go on so matte that I wasn't sure if I should apply powder on top of it. I ended up doing it just to see what would happen. So it is currently, ooh, 7 p.m. Well, this is a very late start. I usually like to wear foundations for at least like eight hours. I'm starting very late today, but I will stay up as late as possible and come back and show you exactly how well this foundation does on my oily skin. And I'm back. It is now 1 a.m. So I've had all this makeup for a total of six hours. Oh, I can't wait to go to sleep. Surprisingly, my skin looks amazing. There's barely any oil on my skin. This is, this is a big deal, guys. Like, what is happening right now? I have the slightest bit of oil right around here, but that's really it. Okay, okay, let me, let me, let me calm down. Let me not get ahead of myself. Let me get my oil absorbing sheets. These are by Walgreens. These suck up the oils on your skin. You can get them at any drugstore. So I'm gonna take my oil absorbing sheet and show you. 
I wouldn't even blot at this point. Like if this was a normal day, how I look right now would not make me blot. Really? Really? Look at that. That's barely anything. As much as I was ready to not like this foundation just because it was just so hard to find and their limited shade range, this might be the most mattifying drugstore foundation ever. My makeup is completely still intact. I'm not oily at all. Shocked. Or as you youngins say, shooketh. So that is all I have to say about the Rimmel London Stay Matte Foundation. I definitely recommend it as long as you could find your color. I really, really, really hope that they extend their shade range one day because this stuff is going to be perfect for those of us that have oily skin and for those of us also on a budget. If you've used the Stay Matte Foundation, please leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Does it work on your oily skin? Do you have dry skin? Let us all know. Keep us in the loop so we know how this works on different people. If you want to see me continue to use this foundation on a daily basis, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell for more videos. I post foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair videos on Sunday. So I hope to see you all next week right here. I'm Bianca Renee today.